Hey buddy, it's Invicta. It's time for another thing to run here, the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Friday, Mosh Pit. I hope your weekends are going off to a great start. We're still waiting for another video to cross 3,000 likes. We have a couple that are so close. So definitely go check those out if you've not already. And today's meme slash artwork of the day is simply a doozy brought to you by Southern Chemistry 5-0. Title thread was simply a mini Invicta icon. Hope you all like it. Now, before I show it, it's not quite mini because that's just how OBS works. So it actually blew it up full screen. But you need to go check it out on this Invicta subreddit because it looks actually really, really cool in mini form. Thank you very much, Southern Chemistry 50. Definitely go check it out. Like, it looks like something you'd use in, like, I don't know, like a profile, like avatar, like in a game or something. It looks really sick, really, really clean. Thank you very much, Southern Chemistry, and everyone who upvoted that one and brought it to my attention on this Invicta subreddit. Go check it out. We've got a lot of good artwork. Oh, boy. Okay. CJ is going to be Zulu091, November 72, Bravo. Oh, boy. We got Glass Cannon and Greed's Gullet. We also picked up Bomber Boy here. So good damage here. Uh, terrible movement speed. Our tears rate is also very bad. Shot speed's okay, but obviously the biggest danger here is going to be the glass cannon even though it's currently shattered it's only a matter of time before it actually gets unshattered and then that's when the fun can start Ugh. so glass cannon is it's a controversial item for sure it's an item that i am not a huge fan of although it has in the past shown that it can be very useful in certain situations assuming that you have enough survivability for the other stats like say hp and movement speed where you don't necessarily have to worry too much about glass cannon shortcomings. But um, one of the things that, the, one of the, honestly, the biggest thing you have to worry about with glass cannon is simply going to be not getting hit. I mean, I know it sounds really stupid, but it is true. And glass cannon is the absolute king of we have to dodge everything <coughs> no matter what. Because if you get hit while glass cannon is active, it's going to deal two, two X damage to you, like literally two times damage. And it's now active. So what's the upside? Well, the upside is that you do throw out a ginormous tier that does a huge amount of damage. Um, hence the term glass cannon. It's, I believe it started out as an MMO thing and maybe it, it's evolved since then, or maybe it, maybe it's, I don't, I don't know where the term originates from. It might be a DNA thing for all I know, but Essentially, you do a lot of damage, but it means you're also very fragile. That is the term of a glass cannon. They certainly took the literal definition here to its fullest in Isaac. We are going to get some HP. Um, we might as well go check and see what's inside the item room. Even though we probably can't buy anything. Again, we've got to be super duper careful when it comes to any, I mean, any damage at all. Um, especially without us not, not knowing any single, or any... Especially with us not knowing what our HP currently is. Um, we have to be very cautious of any and all threats. A Bomber Boy is interesting because it does allow us... Ooh. <coughs> Excuse me. Bomber Boy does allow us to deal lots of damage early on. I don't know why I bought that heart. We have, like, free hearts right here. It's, this, is, this is me just kind of... I'm not really paying attention to anything other than trying not to take damage with Glass Cannon here. Because it's a, it's a scary item. Okay, so we have actually tons, and I mean tons of HP. Um, I can't even attribute that to Greed's Gullet because Greed's Gullet is just a total just non-issue on this run. Um, we don't have enough money to really... No, absolutely not. We don't have enough money to really make Greed's Gullet even, like, activate. So, yeah, we're just starting out with a butt-ton of HP, which I'm fine with. Um, but, that being said, uh, with Glass Cannon, HP only lasts for so long, so... You want to get in, deal as much damage as you can, and get out of the way. I don't know how we end up missing everything there. Okay, so got to be careful here against Baby Plum. I think we use Glass Cannon and then just get the heck away as far away as possible from her. Okay, so down goes Baby Plum. No problem at all. We get your Pick-A-Mide, which is kind of a nothing burger of an item. And speaking of nothing burger, we got ourselves nothing going on here. Um, I am going to get rid of Glass Cannon. I know that some people would want me to hold on to it, but it seriously is very, very dangerous. Uh, we get two bombs, two keys if we decide to hold on to it right now. Next, The next floor, however, is a boss item. And uh, we also get uh, two Soul Hearts, so that's probably what we're going to be going with.
So the threat of glass cannon is gone. And look at this. We end up getting cat of nine tails. Um, and I was incorrect. We actually get the boss item and two swords on the next floor. So, but honestly, I'm fine with us getting, um, getting cat of nine tails now because it is going to give us an immediate damage upgrade and shot speed upgrade, of course. But now all we really need to do is to correct our tears rate and then we'll be looking somewhat pretty. I don't want to say totally pretty, but somewhat pretty. I mean, kind of pretty. Take multi-dimensional baby here, which is going to give us a little bit of extra help for DPS. Razor blades, kind of whatever, but it will allow us to get out of the uh, out of the curse room for free, essentially free. I mean, not technically free because obviously, like we're still taking damage, but we're not taking damage on our soul heart, and that's the thing that matters. Multi-dimensional baby is a familiar that's going to follow where Isaac was, and then essentially, if you shoot through it. Um, it will give you a it will give you a ton of shot speed, but also double your shots, and that includes like any and all shots, including brimstone, which is real real nice. But the delay is so high that you have to pretty much stand still in order to get any sort of value uh, out of multi dimensional baby. Well, I don't know why that fly went that way, but you You know, so neat little trick here in this room. If you get into this room, I know that the knee-jerk reaction is to shoot the black poops. But if you do that and end up clearing the room, any clear reward is going to fall in those, unless you have flying, in those inaccessible spots in the middle of the room. But if you don't use, if you resist the, if you resist the temptation and don't use the black poops, what will then happen is the, it's going to, the game is going to be forced to spawn your clear reward outside of the middle of this room. And you'll actually be able to go get your uh, reward. So just a little... A little bit of a neat little trick there, as you did not know. I kind of point it out every time I go into that room, just because, you know, that's kind of my job. I don't feel like dealing with this room. Might as well take Liberty Cap, even though it's not really going to do much. And, uh, yeah, there's the entirety of Caves 1. So, what we're looking for here is we are looking for just tiers. Tiers rate, we need to get ourselves some movement speed as well. That would be nice. The tier effect would also, also be nice. And I have to resist the temptation to use the Bomber Boy bombs for offense a little bit, a little bit more, <laughs> as I say, as I almost bomb myself. Um, trying to resist the temptation because, like, the urge is there just because they do so much damage. But you also kind of need it for bosses, too. Like, don't use them just to clear rooms. Unless, it, like, you're in a really difficult spot, don't really use, or if you have, like, just, you know, unlimited bombs, don't use your Bomber Boy bombs just to clear like, you know, rooms that annoy you. Um, you want to make sure that you use them for bosses like this, where you can hit the same boss multiple times and still be still be fine um, and deal lots of damage here. Now, do we need to hit Gertie? No, we don't need to hit Gertie with uh, bombs. Use the Razor Blade, give ourselves a little bit of extra damage here, even though it's not going to help us out on the tiers rate, it is going to help us out with our DPS overall because we're just dealing more raw damage to uh, Gertie. And we kind of got her in this loop right now. It makes it very quick and easy. No problem at all. Get a tears up, which is going to be very, very nice. Huge tears up, and we get monstrance. Uh, monstrance. So, monstrance is, uh, I mean, you know, it's an item. It's definitely an item that exists. Um, I wouldn't say it's a great item, but, you know, it, if you like dealing passive damage, it's, like, probably one of your best friends. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the closer that they get to Isaac, the more damage it does passively. But then you kind of get into the whole realm of, you know, controlling your outgoing damage. Um, just It's it's really annoying to, to have things die around you when you're not really intending them to die at... At, at that particular moment in time. Um, and the biggest reason for that is because of the fact of the simple fact that, you know, there are a lot of death rattles in this game. And by death rattles, I mean effects that the mobs do after they die. Hence a death rattle. And <coughs> they can be problematic and even dangerous um, if you're not careful. So again, the concept of, of controlling your outgoing damage is extremely important in Isaac. Um, it's something that I've, I've talked about a lot. 
Fortune Cookie, the only reason why you're coming here is because we have nothing else. Like, the Razor Blade's fine and all, but, like, it does really nothing for us here. I mean, it is nice that, we, that we're able to get into and out of curse rooms for somewhat free. Um... But yeah, Fortune Cookie is Fortune Cookie's on the is on the bad list and will be on the bad list forever. Easily replaceable. Could bomb and get school bag, I guess. As you see there, Greed's Gullet doesn't actually matter currently. Uh, we can actually go back and get the Razor Blade too, which is fine. Like I, you can use the iframes with the with the Razor Blade. Like I said, and we've been showing is to get into and out of curse rooms for essentially free. Um, and you can use it for damage if you do have a pretty high red red heart uh, build. Right now we have a decent amount of HP, and of course that would actually like work very well with us had we gotten more money with Grease Gullet and really sort of feed ourselves some Red Heart HP upgrades uh, while also dealing more damage. We have a synergy there with uh, Razor Blade and Grease Gullet, but we don't have a lot of money, so it doesn't really matter. Let me peep. Yeah, we're gonna have to get rid of these rocks right here. Grass peep, you played yourself. Now, blue peep is problematic because it has a much higher shot speed than normal peeps do. Also, starts off with uh, both of the eyes gone immediately. There we go. Sty. Another red heart was good. Yeah, I mean it's early on for Damocles, but I just I, I'm I'm back on the I'm back on the anti Damocles train. I just I don't trust it anymore. Not that I ever really did. Okay. Don't be fooled by our tier size. That's a result of Trapicamide giving us a larger than larger than normal uh, shot size. Another HP upgrade there. Well, not HP upgrade, but another Soul Heart from uh, Fortune Cookie. I know people are going to be like, oh, Fortune Cookie is back, baby. No, no. Fortune Cookie is still... It had multiple chances to, to help us out in that one run and then straight up didn't. Dropped a big old goose egg. A fortune cookie's not off of the not out of the doghouse. What was that? The guts charged us while pushing a while pushing a bomb fly. That's a new one. That is definitely a new one game. That's called a mega schmove right there. I cannot see the screen here, Fortune Cookie. Thank you. All right. First room still, uh, still lacking, lacking hard. There's where monstrance can actually be a little bit useful here. Since we don't have piercing shots, we don't have to worry about the knights. I tick them down. We need more... We, we just need more tears rate. Need more tears rate, need more damage. Something that's going to give us that little spark that we need to uh, really supercharge our DPS. And get more of a dominant position. Because right now, we're looking okay. Like, you look at this run. 
don't really have too much to complain about, you know, again, other than our tears rate, maybe our movement speed. Our damage is on point, thanks to the pentagram. And Cat of Nine Tails as well. Help us out greatly. But it's going to fall off very quickly. And we talked about that power curve a lot in Isaac. Um, and this is certainly going to be one of those situations where if we don't get more tears rate soon, we're going to be falling off hard. <coughs> Yeah, we did a lot of talking today. That's the reason my my voice is kind of kind of iffy for the day. We did lots of lots of Pokemon stuff on Twitch. Which, by the way, thank you everyone who's been coming out to the Twitch stream and uh, checking out the Pokemon streams. I'm glad that people are like, you know, hey, I like I'm here for Isaac, but I like seeing something different. We're flying through this run. I didn't even realize how fast we were going, but man, we're moving. Immediately find our fool card here. Problem is we don't have any bombs. So boss rush is pretty much a lockdown guarantee as long as we get one singular bomb. Now doing boss rushes is, is going to be something totally different. Yeah, it's a funny game. I mean, we could do boss rush, but man, that's going to be an absolute chore and a half. Okay, we got our bomb here. Let's go and get our full card. Well, now you know. No, no, let's get our full card now. Let's get. Let's get it now. Because you know, what's going to happen is I'm going to forget where it is, and then we're just going to waste time coming back looking for it. A chubby, big chub. Monstrous doing his thing. I mean, you know, when monsters can can multi hit and. and a target like it actually deals a respectable amount of damage like you know it's like succubus levels of damage and freaking so many people my god it's it's incredible how many people lose their mind about succubus when i said that succubus was not never did i say succubus was bad the other day i think it was on i think it was monday's episode you're like, oh my god like literally there's nothing wrong with succubus blah blah and i even predicted in that episode that people would be saying that We get it, bro. You love Succubus. We get it. Give me that damage. I mean, I guess tooth and nail, but... So many people are like, oh, there's literally nothing wrong. You say Succubus is bad, blah, blah, blah. No. Like, I literally never said Succubus was bad. The only thing I said in that episode was something to the effect of Succubus is just not the item that we need or want right now. We want something, something juicier than Succubus. In a devil deal. Like, there's nothing wrong with Succubus. It's a good item. But passing up on it to get something better later on is something that I definitely would and still do and would do again. Let me go in the arcade here real quick just to see what we got. Uh, I mean, we haven't been to the item room yet. And Blood Bag's going to give us some movement speed, something that we desperately need. And an HP upgrade, which is another thing that we definitely want. Okay, so we're up to 21 cents right now. I have no idea where our item room is. So, uh, Greed's Gullet is one of those items I just don't care about. Um, you know, it takes away HP tainers from you when you spend money, and I'm not really, like, down with that. Uh, no. You know what? Fortune Cookie, no. You don't, you, don't get to, you don't get a pass. Just because you gave us a couple of soul hearts in this run, you don't get a pass. There are flies. I mean, this is just a... It's a really, really awful shop. Shops have been just, just so incredibly bad lately. 
Pinging Shears, however, is very good. I'm glad to have it. Also, the damage upgrade from the negative is going to help. Okay, so we have the Stars card. Stars card, we're probably going to end up taking all the way to the Dark Chest so we can use it for a teleport. Yuri might be here. We only have one bomb. Is there? I nice slow there by little Gish. So another thing that's annoying about Greed's Gullet, you may just you may have noticed right there, is that after we get 25 cents, we do get the HP upgrade. If you're thinking, well, what's the problem with that? Well, the problem with that is that if we have Soul Hearts, and then Greed's Gullet kicks in, and like assuming that we're like we're full on Soul Hearts. It's going to push one of those soul hearts out and basically take one of them away from us permanently. And then what happens then is that if we end up spending this money on anything, we then re-lose that HP container. Therefore, we are negative one soul heart. All because we picked up some money. And that's the thing that I don't like about Greed's Gullet. You know, it's very good for the keeper for sure, but we're not playing the keeper. Gonna rock right there, but we can't actually access it. Okay, good. All right. West side of the map, everybody. Get a fame in a late game curse room. Oh, we'll happily take. You see that inner circle there doing some good damage to Polycephalus. Good shots all around. Almost 10 damage. Again, our damage is not is not horrible. Gotta take the diglets up first before anything else in this room. Otherwise, they're just gonna keep taking pot shots at you. I made it also a slight misplay. I could have waited for Tooth and Nail to kick in before um, going into the curse room. Therefore, we didn't have to use those red hearts to get in and out. But it didn't cost us anything, and I'm not gonna. It's not like I'm gonna use razor, razor blade against the boss anyway. So it's not that big of a deal. And the rock over here, which we actually probably don't even need to take because I'm not going to take small rock. And we have built, we have full HP, so. The pinky shear is doing its thing. We get... I swear I've seen a pattern go on here lately on streams, especially if you see Sty, you always see Blood Clot and vice versa. It's kind of insane. The D-Bizzle and also the... Uh, Lord of the Pit, which I will absolutely take for flying and for movement speed, especially. Now we have reason to go back and get those tinted rocks, but let's go back first here. There's another tinted rock right there. Double soul heart, I tell you what. Be nice. Okay. Movement speed's taken care of. Flying's taken care of. Still need to get a tears rate upgrade, but we're sitting pretty right now. Sorry about that. A message from Alex. Athame doing some work here, and uh, you know, with the way that with the way that Monstrance works, it actually is kind of in a weird way. If you squint hard enough, 
it kind of looks like Maw the Void. <laughs> I mean, you got to really squint hard to make that connection, but if you if you see it, if you see it, let me know in the comments. You know, because we have, we have Monstrance activating, you know, damage and then killing things, and then that's going to trigger Athame, which is then doing the Maw the Void effect, which is like, you know, like near Isaac is what I'm trying to get at. No, we don't reroll this. We're... We are okay to not reroll. I refuse. It's like I refuse to do this room. I don't know how that one bomb fly managed to take all those hits. The wrath here. I legit didn't even see him throw that bomb at me. So good, good damage here for Monstrance, I gotta say. The Pinky Shears kind of do their thing here against Mom. You see that we're still getting the double shots here from Multidimensional Baby as well, which is nice. And speak of the devil, we get Maw the Void, which is gonna give us Leviathan anyway. Um, sure. We don't really need Guppy's head, so yeah, we're we're not. I don't I don't think we're gonna get Guppy, but the three soul hearts. Eh, I guess we'll take it over the razor blade because we're not gonna use the razor blade anymore. I would feel a little bit bad if we uh, end up seeing like two other guppy items in the uh, dark chest. I don't know why there's a little horn in here, but. They put. D Bizzle, this is all you. I know we've been taking a lot of hearts from you, but now's the time. But you, you need to do it over here, dude. Thank you. No, no, see, you missed the part where you're supposed to give us a soul heart. We might as well go for the soul hearts here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. We might as well play Judgment as well. This is going to take away probably one of our uh, HP upgrades as we are going to go below 25 cents, unless we get lucky. But I'd rather have a permanent HP upgrade than a Greed's Gullet HP upgrade, to be honest. Just as I predicted. Okay, but you got to pay out with something, though. Like, I'm not going to give you 40 cents to get nothing here. We're right back at square one, but this time we don't have a we don't have a losable um, HP upgrade as opposed to the one we got from Greed's Gullet, which I'm definitely down for. For the dice room, I cannot possibly fathom what we would want. We definitely would not want to restart the. We wouldn't want to reroll, and we wouldn't want to restart the four. So there's basically no reason for us to go in there. But we have no item pedestals to reroll either. So even if it is a D four. Or yeah, a four room. We're not going to use it. So yeah, let's save the keys. Hallway just keeps on going. Just kind of letting, letting um, piggy shears kind of do their thing.
Good damage there with Maw. Really strong damage there with Maw the Void. All right, let's see if we can get those guppy items and let's see where this stars card is going to take us if we end up going in the right direction or not. Hello, Ghost Baby. It is a tears up, so I'm definitely going to take Ouija board. And stars card. Okay, okay. May have taken us somewhere good. Anytime I see us far away from where we started, the random teleport, I'd like to believe that we are in the right direction for the boss. No nine lives from pride. Same again, just kind of doing its thing and uh, absolutely rocking the world of every, anything that dies around it. And yeah, look at that. We went straight to lamb. Oh, baby. Happy Friday. Not trying to get like any sort of any sort of monstrous damage here. I'm just trying to like add on to it with us using Maw of the Boys, our primary source of damage. Lamb's going to get absolutely smoked here by us and man, oh man. Nice little, nice little conclusion there. No victory lap today, but you know what? It's Friday. Fantastic Friday. Let's do a greed run, shall we? Do a good old, a good old greeting. One greeting. Yeah, let's do a greeting. Why not? Got Eden Soul and little Steven. Dip, two. Okay, starting off with a tears upgrade. I like that. Our damage definitely needs a little bit of help. Movement speed's on point. Shot speed is now on point. And uh, blanket's totally useless in greed mode. You know what, little Steven? I will say, little Steven can ball in greed mode. He's a he's a bro in greed. Having those uh, those little extra little homing shots definitely help out a lot when you're in the same room as like you know a million billion other mobs. He can lay it down for sure. This is probably one of the worst waves to get in the first floor on any run, especially Eden, because you just don't know what your starting stats are going to be or starting items are going to be. So having the little extra extra oomph from little Steven is crucial because you can get very easily overwhelmed with this wave. Even with little Steven, we almost got overwhelmed too. So got to dodge like freaking Neo over here. There you go. But just like that, little Steven helping us catch up. So, where do we use Eden Soul? Eden Soul is going to give us two guaranteed items of any, of basically any uh, item pool that we use it in. So, obviously, we're going to be gunning for either the Angel Deal or the Devil Deal. Um, especially early on, you can really get those power curves out. And we absolutely handle this first set of waves here on floor one. And we handled it like a boss. Loadstone is load bad. Uh, man, I really don't want to go into the... I don't want to go into the curse room yet because we're probably going to need this soul heart. This is a really bad first shop. I mean, there's nothing appealing here. Like, absolutely nothing appealing about this first shop. I'm not, I'm not even going to risk walking into the spikes. Probably have enough for one reroll in this shop before we're out of money. If we want to buy a premium item, that is. Assuming that it's not going to be half price. Like a monstro. This is not champion monstro. Twenty-four cents. That would definitely give us enough to re-roll the shop and get a premium item. Uh, but we are not going to get a full charge on Eden's soul, unfortunately, until the next devil deal, which really sucks. So let's re-roll. Now, we could also theoretically buy a full charge if we do roll into one. Um, 
I think we could pay out in four here. Yeah, I was wrong. Come on, game. Five cent reroll. Liver is definitely what we want. It sucks to see synth oil there, which we can't afford, but raw liver is going to give us a huge amount of HP. And Gimpy is also very nice. Okay, and then we get a half price key for the next floor. Honestly, I'm down with that. This is where little Steven is not a bro because his shots will arc behind targets like you see lust right there and the shots will actually arc behind her and then push her forward because you know found physics but we get out of there unscathed pretty much and again we have an absolute butt ton of hp now thanks to that hero font card but more importantly thanks to the raw liver now again, the really crappy thing is that we're not going to get a full charge in our Devil Deal for the first go-around uh, with Eden Soul. So we have to wait all the way until next floor to do it. And we're going to instantly lose all the HP that we just got. So it's very, it's very funny trick there, game. Even Baby, I mean, I guess since it's basically now or never... Really sucks that so we're not going to be able to get uh, Crooked Penny. Okay. Let's see what our cheap key is. We'll get Tooth and Nail again. And Movement Speed, which I will take. A Golden Polaroid is... Not what we want. But Tooth and Nail at least is going to allow us to get into and out of the curse rooms again for free for the rest of this run, which is nice. But, uh, man. Really, really slacking on these, uh, these shops here, game. I'm going to use three cents to re-roll this horrific shop now. Not. All right. So, we have one guppy item, which is good. Obviously, we're hoping that uh, Eden Soul provides us with at least one guppy item, if not both of them. We can just call it a day. But, we all know that we... We ain't that lucky around here. At least I'm not that lucky. I say we. Collectively, but you know, you know, I mean me. I gotta say, Demon Baby helping out with uh, little Steven's DPS a little bit here. Now, we could also alter alternatively look for secret room and try to go for go for broke there but i think it's still just wiser especially now that we have nine lives just to go for it in the devil deal void is not something that i'm too high on But it is a half price item, so maybe we can get something more useful out of there behind it. And I mean, like, Void is still going to be okay in Greed. If we end up getting a really crappy item room, like, you know, we can just get rid of it. Get something else. Like, Tooth and Nail is not something that I would definitely... Like, that. that's something I would avoid it. Tooth and Nail. Even though Tooth and Nail is like, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just we want stats. I, I would much rather have raw stats than Tooth and Nail. Actually able to take down Blue Champion Chubb without any problem, but now we have the big worry here, which is going to be Yellow Champion Peep. And in Greed Mode, Yellow Champion Peep is kind of annoying with his increased movement speed, but also the uh, 
The eyes. If you can pin him against the wall, it should be okay. Yellow Peep also jumps like pretty much every single time. It's really hard to tell what's creep and what's not. Not ready for void yet. This is going to be hell. Black Champion Widow and also Wretched, both spawning spiders, is going to be not fun. It'd be a Christmas Day miracle we get out of here with no hit. I mean, that's some crazy dodging right there. You got to you got to give me a little bit of credit for that. That's some pretty insane dodging. I thought there was no way we we're going to get out of there without getting hit with hitless. That's just insane. We could use this freaking shadow which is Way too far down the totem pole for us to even consider. Oh. I mean, I am going to take and use Damocles. We might as well. Bloody Lust and sure, we'll take Juice of Shadow. We can actually go back and get Rotten Baby and then also get Conjoined. Like, we might as well. Okay. Now we can at least get Void. And, okay, Luckfoot. We do not want the scam box. Alright, so Damocles brings a very interesting little component to this. Because, obviously, we have extra lives, but... The only downside is that we need a, we need Damocles to fall or end the run before it falls, before we get to Ultra Greed. Otherwise, we're going to be in a world of hurt. Yeah, see, both of these are definitely avoidable. We get a double damage upgrade. That's exactly what I'm going to see. And, I mean, I'm going to take both of these. We're just going to undo that damage up that we just got, but we get, we get a whole butt ton of movement speed. Same butt ton a lot today. I need to stop doing that. Uh, it's not a becoming term. Champion belt obviously is something that we definitely want here. We're gonna have to wait to get it. Damocles is going to give us the double item pedestals every single time we go into an item room, which gives us, at the very least, it gives us two extra. It gives us. One extra item per floor that we don't have to pay for, and at the very most, we ask, we also get a you know more voidable item pedestals like we just did on this floor, which could potentially give us even more uh, damage. And yeah, that was an amazing proc there. If you're wondering why we didn't take damage against the brimstone shot right there, it's because tooth and nail just happened to randomly proc at the exact moment that it was going to hit. It was going to hit us, and there's I'm not even going to try to tell you that I tried to do that on purpose because I did not. Your luck right there. Definitely need some good piercing shots or something like that to kind of undo the effects of uh, our insane shot speed right now. Shot speed's not that in insane, but it's it's a little high. Uh, make the make the clown physics act up. Is it diamonds? We can use that to clear a wave or two or ten. Surprisingly, even despite us taking conjoined, like we still have, we still have enough damage that we're staying ahead of the curve here. And someone as tanky as Bighorn, it's really surprising. There's little Steven and uh, 
Rotten Baby and Demon Baby in a way are also helping that a little bit. I honestly don't even know if we've been hit at all, if it's activated Damocles or not yet. Should have really gone after Super Sloth first. We got lucky that we didn't get hit by those spiders. They're absolutely zooming. I mean, money goes power, sure, I guess. Okay, definitely one champion belt because we just need we need to get any and all damage we can. Any pack is not terrible, but it's not good either. Oh man, I didn't realize the secret room was there. Panic button is kind of whatever. Um could buy five soul hearts. Wouldn't be bad. D e sizzle. Now we're cooking. Okay, so the D6 is definitely going to be huge for us. PhD, P PhD doesn't help us. <laughs> we already had luck, but so yeah. Okay. One bomb and we might get a whole bunch of stuff here. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get the bomb. Okay, now we could go... We might as well go in the curse room. I just had a feeling it was going to be an Alger's rune, man. I knew it. Whatever. We absolutely do not need more movement speed. Um, I will take both Shadow Mushroom and Ghost Pepper. Sprinkler is there, but we don't have four and a half volts, so obviously PJ's is a huge, huge amount of HP that I definitely want. Now, again, the thing is, is that we we don't know when Damocles, if Damocles is going to fall. So that's always going to be lit, quite literally hanging over our head, and uh, we do not want it to fall during the greed fight. Because then we're talking about some serious, serious foobar action. Let's see a dime here. So we need to essentially we need to we need to never get hit on this run ever again or have some way of generating HP. Spawning hosts in greed should not be allowed. It can be such a sto stonies as well. I don't know how we didn't get hit there. Went ring around the rosy with that infamy mask. I don't know how we're doing it, but we're still... I don't think we've been hit so far. Okay, so we can re-roll with the D6 now or just wait until... Uh, and wait until we get the Devil Deal. Now, alternatively, what we could do, and this is definitely an option... Um, we could theoretically purposely take damage and then just stand around and wait for Damocles to fall. That would be the smart thing to do. Now, how long it takes Damocles to actually fall when you want it to fall, who freaking knows? Because I've never, ever done that. <laughs> but that would be the smart play to do. 
So if Damocles is going to fall, it needs to fall like in between now and like the next floor, basically. But we haven't gotten hit yet, so... No. We, got, we have a weird situation here where Damocles is uh, being even more unpredictable than usual. I, dude, I, I don't know how we're not taking damage. I thought for sure we were going to get hit by bloat there. We're on a different level of dodging today, I guess. Yeah, I mean, Incubus, for sure. Little Horn. Might as well take Little Horn. And we can get back into the Devil Deal, but we are going to lose another eight, another life, and that's fine. No, curse room hits do not count as uh as against Damocles. <coughs> Divorce papers. Don't really need it. Um there is school bag, however. That would allow us to get some kind of HP generator like the Book of Revelations or Satanic Bible if we end up seeing it. Bunker Helm. We have a cheap reroll here in the other room, which we might as well take. Yeah. Take some damage. <coughs> Our tears rate is high enough that I am going to take Sty. And we can't we can't get these. Okay. I mean, it's more HP. We should probably wait on taking it if we are going to take damage. Yeah, there's full charges there, so we can utilize we can utilize the D6 if we need to or want to. Yeah, there's our first instance of damage that isn't first room related. So you make a decision whether or not we want Damocles to fall or if we're just going to YOLO it and send it. Now, the more damage that you take does not matter for Damocles after a certain point. It doesn't it doesn't it doesn't affect the proc rate of Damocles. I told you we we're going to take some hits in here. I just I knew it was going to happen. Champion Bell just decided the game the game was like, how many champion bosses do you want? And the answer was yes. So we're gonna get Guppy here. And Guppy's paw is actually huge for us because that that means that when Damocles does inevitably fall, it's not going to be insta-death. Because now we have three soul hearts or three HP to, to work with rather than one against Ultra Greed. That is under the worst case scenario where Damocles falls during the Ultra Greed uh, fight. So Guppy's Paw is absolutely, that's a, I mean, that's a, that's a lifesaver right there. Oh, those are pretty bad. I am, I guess I'm going to take this range upgrade and maybe some HP. Yeah, there we go. I'm just going to re-roll the item room here because it's just cheaper. Yeah, there's a book revelation. So, I mean, with that, but honestly, like, I don't even think we need the book of revelations now because we have Guppy's Paw. I can beat, with this with this build, I can beat Ultra Greed with, with 3 HP for sure. I mean, <laughs> I mean, Sumptorium. Mm -hmm. I agreed. Is not great 
But I'm going to take it anyway, just because we never ever see it. All right. I'd say, I'd say we're at build here. Take advantage of these red hearts that we find. Obviously, some Torium absolutely massive for us. I'm going to wait for this. I have one more key. Actually, what am I doing? We don't need a key. Well, there might be a chest, but yeah, we don't need a key. I don't know what I'm doing. You know what? We needed a key. Strength card. You know what? That's actually, again, that's a big time play right there because that allows us to use it in the greed fight as well. So our ace in the hole, if Damocles does fall at this point, is going to be using the strength card and then Guppy's paw. That is our ace in the hole. Uh, I mean, blue caps kind of whatever. We don't need the tears up at this point. We get the fungi transformation, which does give us an HP upgrade. You're gonna be hearing the I agreed quite a lot. <laughs> Yeah, expect us to run out of money very quickly. But it does not matter anymore because we have Sumptorium. Got this on lockdown. And even if Damocles decides to screw us, it can't. That is a lot of damage that we're doing. Oh my god. That was a theme. Uh, I will take Athame. We don't need the Satanic Bible, to be honest. And, uh, yeah. We have no money, so... We're at full build, and I think that we are going to be okay... The question is, will Damocles even fall at this point? Uh, we get the quarter. All advantages. I'm not going to use the strength card just because. Oh my goodness gracious. Not sure what's going on anymore, but like greed hasn't done anything. Not sure if the eye of greed has some kind of interaction with ultra greed that I don't know about, but he was frozen for a very long time. Yeah, he's just stun locked. So wow, there you go, everyone. Super easy run there with uh, with some some extra greed for you. So thank you for watching. Happy Friday, everybody. If you enjoyed this double episode, make sure you click the like button. Leave a comment down below. Question of the episode today is going to be, did you think Damocles was going to fall? Post them in the comments down below. Remember, the top three most upvoted comments will be read on next week's episode. And thank you, everyone, for engaging with the videos and liking them. Let's try to get this video to 3,000 likes going into the brand new weekend and get that like streak goal back on schedule. As always, I will see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. Like to thanks to pages of mine like Picasso, Zombie Fingers, and Goatee Egg. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find over at patreon.com slash Invicta.